A murder investigation is underway after a 13-year-old boy was stabbed to death at a house in the West Midlands. West Midlands police were called to the house on Lovett Avenue in Albury at around 4 p.m. yesterday. The teenager was treated at the scene by paramedics, but died. We've been speaking to residents who told us about their shock at hearing what had happened. 13-year-old boy. It's a child. It's a child. They've got parents. They've got uncles, grandmas. It's a child. It's a life. A life is worth something. I, I, I don't know how they must be feeling. I'm, I'm in shock. I'm, I'm dismayed. Really devastating. Really, um, yeah, I do feel really emotional. It just goes to show you that um, it's really prevalent in in the UK, in Birmingham, and nowhere is safe from from knife crime. Well, let's uh, bring in our Midlands correspondent Lisa Dowd uh, for more on this. Uh, Lisa, so look, we've heard sort of the pain there from the residents. What are the police saying about what could have happened here? The local people are finding it extremely difficult to come to terms with what's happened given uh, that the victim is so young. Now, police were called here at around four o'clock yesterday afternoon to uh, Lovett Avenue by paramedics who tried to save this 13-year-old boy, uh, but he had been stabbed to death and they could not help him. Now, we've seen a lot of police activity here today as they try to find who did this. The house has been cordoned off. We've seen forensics officers going in and out of it all morning. We've also seen police with sticks searching the garden as well, um, and also officers um, going from house to house to try to glean any information that they can from neighbours and local people. We've also had a statement from West Midlands Police from Detective Superintendent Sean Edwards, who said it's absolutely tragic a young life has been lost. We have specialist officers who will be supporting the family of the boy. We have detectives working flat out to find whoever is responsible and bring them into custody as soon as possible. Now, the West Midlands has the highest rate of knife crime in England and Wales. And earlier I was speaking to a youth worker who told me he was at a loss as to what to do about this. It's happening all over the, all over the country and, and all over the world, really. But, I mean, Lion Farm is just another area that's it's hap it's been happening and uh, it's been like this for a while now. Is it parenting? Is it social problem? Is it a neighbourhood problem? I mean, everybody needs to work together, I think, and get solutions that, so we can save our children. We've also uh, seen some very emotional neighbours who knew this young boy, who have laid flowers at the front door of the house, clearly finding it very difficult to understand um, what happened here and how this 13-year-old boy lost his life in the way he did.